yeah, we're just uh, we're hanging out on this this nice jungle boardwalk. Let me see if we can find anything cool. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, guys! Look! Look at this Burmesia queen! Oh my gosh! Look at the size of that thing! That's crazy. All right, moving on. Brother is not camouflaged. <laughs> For whatever reason, there are so many Fadoli here that just nest in the leaf litter with no protection, just under the leaves. It's very interesting. Check out this weaving polyrachis nest. This thing is huge. It's made up of plant debris that is basically just stuck to the back of a leaf using larval silk. So you can see a nest entrance and all the workers and everything. And it's really cool. The workers just forage. They go down the leaf stem and go to the forest floor and leaves to forage. Throw this to the camera. Picked up this Care Bear Affinis Queen. That's a freaking Care Bear Affinis Queen. That is so sick. We saw workers earlier, but we didn't get any of the big majors. and. Certainly not a queen. That is spectacular. Look at her. Here, just put her on your hand, uh, just for a sense. Yeah, of... she's gonna. She might fly away. Actually, no. She... Like she's pretty freaking huge. Greater queen size, it seems like. At least, yeah, I and mean, probably about the same. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Check this freaky bugger out. It's not the world's most prettiest tarantula, but hey, man, that's pretty cool. So here, of course, we have some Oecophila doing what Oecophila do. Unfortunately, it's on a really cool Rhytidoponera. This thing is monstrous. I mean, that's mostly what's cool about it. It doesn't really have that many cool colors or anything. But it's just massive. I mean, compared to the species that we were seeing in Sydney, this thing is a behemoth. Which is super awesome. This tetramorium colony. I mean, there's queens. There's one at least. And then look at all this brood down here. Another queen right there. This is freaking awesome. Here's this would suck to brush up against if you're in the jungle. And if you're wondering why all these wasps are hanging out on this leaf, well, that's because their entire comb is just this little tiny thing on the back. And they're starting to get mad at me, so I'm leaving. But isn't that neat? I think we have angered the Odontomachus. Because they were nesting inside this log, and I just busted it open. But, honestly... I'll take it, because that's really cool. Check out underneath this log these super awesome campos that I feel like I should know the name of. Oh, and there's Stroomy Dennis, too. <laughs> but anyways, I feel like I should know the name of these campos, and I'm not recalling it, but uh, they are pretty freaking gorgeous. With those orange or yellow gasters. And there's the Stroomy Dennis. <laughs> There's also a Lyoponera under this log. I guess this log is pretty freaking good. Well, that's... that's cool. I kind of missed the flip, but... This is a rather large Campanotis colony. Well, this is a first for me. That right there is Anachetus. Lesser trapjaw ants. So, of course, very similar to Odontomachus, but a different genus. And that is my first time ever seeing them. Here in uh, North Queensland. It is starting to get dark here in the jungle. And, uh, that's very exciting because it means 
some evening activity is going to start happening. Nighttime nocturnal species and everything, which is pretty exciting. So uh, let's get into it. We have officially the beginnings of a nuptial flight. Not a particularly interesting species, but it is a good sign for the night to come, I would say. Yeah, dude, in this I see it right there. In this thing, there's a huge this sign. There's a huge massive freaking huntsman spider. I saw him poking his dang face out. <laughs> now I'm gonna scare him out. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there's his feet. Whoa. He's freaking gorgeous. Wow, that's a freaking awesome spider. He's got mites on him. Oh, he does? That thing is cool. No freaking kidding, man. It's about damn time Australia gave us one of their big spiders. I have found a gecky. A little guy. So evidently, nighttime is the time for these ginormous huntsman spiders. Because under this banister, there's another freaking garga gargantuan specimen right there. That is so cool. There's number three for tonight. They are coming out in freaking droves, these big guys. And well, I am not complaining. Check out this freaky little guy. I'm gonna assume it's a Campanotus, but it could be a weird... I don't know, it could be a weird Polyrachis. I mean, they're both in Camponotini, so... You know, same tribe. And it's not shiny like a Polyrachis, but it's, it's really cool. I like him. Here's our fourth giant huntsman in about five minutes. We've actually seen some babies, but only gonna show the big ones, but this guy is cool. He's orange. The other ones have kind of been brown or white, but this guy is very much vibrant orange, which is very super cool. Check this out, y'all. There's a Fadoli colony migrating. And I just so happened to catch the queen. Oh, I think she's gone. I think they just migrated into there, but got you a glimpse of her for a second. As they move along here. Pretty neat. Just found this under a rock. That is a Zesphinctus. A weird raider ant genus. She's moving way too quickly for me to get good photos or video, but there you go. It's the best I can do. At this point, I'm just going to stop filming these guys. Just uh, get the note right, get this in your brains. They're everywhere. Absolutely Holy everywhere. Holy crap, guys. Look at this giant stick bug. That is such an awesome find. Here, get light. Here, hold this. Light him up. I'm gonna put my hand next to him. Look at this, guys. Look at how big that thing is. That's ridiculous. There we go. Didn't want to disturb this guy too, too much, but you know, I'm not eating him, so. Don't think he'll complain too much, but that thing is freaking awesome. Brother is not camouflaged right now. Kind of thinks he is, but hey, as long as he's not getting eaten, something he's doing is working. And what he's doing is looking freaking sick. Let's go, man. 
to the, the camera. Hey everyone, this is Mason Show and Tell. What do you find today? No, uh. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I mean, it's an ectotomin, eh? So, but it's a Rytidoponera, just a freaking huge tropical Rytidoponera. That's wonderful. Thank you for showing that. Thank you. Check out this little cryptic queen. It's either a weird Strumigenis or Octostruma, probably. But whatever it is, it is really freaking cool. And also leaving. She's leaving, that's what she is. Check out this cool little termite trail right across this little wall here. I believe that this is Nesutotermes, but if not, it's some other Nesut species, which, if you are fans of this channel, you know are my favoriteest termites, with those stupid little unicorn heads on the soldiers. And so seeing this little trail of them across the wall is quite delightful. Bro, she's freaking the freak out. Why? She is offended by your presence. She's gonna fly onto you, man. Maybe she will, huh? What if she does fly onto me, huh? Whoa! She flew onto the leaf. Oh, she flew onto the ground. Okay. What do you think, Mason? What do you think? Mm. How was it? No Mermesia. There was no Mermesia. But I showed you plenty of Mermesia already, so no complaining, okay? You're not allowed to complain, because we found cool stuff in this this year trip. And it's not, it's not over, it's just over for tonight, so... You know, there'll still be stuff to show you. I didn't even bring my macro lens out which I'm starting to regret. But here on the blacklight sheet is this absolutely lovely beetle. Look at that thing. And a whole bunch of itty bitty tiny ant queens. Like a lot of them. I'm sneaking out. OMG AC fam, we've discovered a new ant species here in the Australian not outback. Oh my, you're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Yo!